busy, busy, busy day ahead. Mm, lots and lots of stuff to do. What to do? So this morning it's very, very exciting because we are going to our brand new house. Well, it's new for us. It's not not, not a new new house, but yeah. Um, so we're upgrading from our little house to a bigger house. Come along, come along for a trip. So why are we moving? Well, just over a year ago, I received a phone call to let me know that I have a new job. Woo so with that job, uh, I said I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to take it. I ended up taking the job uh, because um, I, it was kind of at the time it was the right decision to do it, and it's still the right decision a year later. So I'm pretty happy about that. The fact that I did go back to work, uh, which I've been doing for a while now, same job, similar job. It's all relative, of course, but we live in a tiny three-bedroom house. And it's actually so small that my office that I have <laughs> is a shed that I built underneath our patio so that I can have a little bit of an extra space for my uh, computer and my simulator rig, racing rig that I like to play on from time to time. And so it's, it's, a, it's a small place. Now, we've lived there for two years. Um, and it's, uh, I mean, it's doable. It's just, we're all kind of cramped. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's tiny. So, two kids are in one room. One little baby is in, in another room. And then there's Melinda and I in our main bedroom. But the main bedroom also has Melinda's mini office in there and there's no space for me to have anything in there. And then we've got a tiny living room, a tiny dining room, not even a room, a tiny combined living, dining, whatever, it's, it's, it's a small space. And then a kitchen and a laundry and that's it. We call it, we call the houses in Australia a specky. It's a basically a housing commission specky. Um, and what that means is my house looks very similar to the house next door, to the house next door. I think it was a slightly newer estate because there's a little bit of variation in the houses. Um, and yeah, we just ended up with one of these little ones. But it's been okay. So back to topic. The reason that I did take the job last year is because I had in the back of my mind that we're going to upgrade and that's what's happened we've um, upgraded and it's taken a whole year to find a place and go through all the motions of getting the house so we're moving from Kabulcha to Burpengary which is not a big move it's about 15 20 minutes away uh, a little bit closer to the center of Brisbane but it's still not in the city or anything it's still in the burbs I like Kabulcha there's Kabulcha is, it's hard to explain, it's a mix of people that is a complete mix of people, like, you can't, <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to explain it, think of it like a car yard, okay, that's, that's a, a second, like a used car car yard is basically Kabulcha, uh, we've got some awesome cars, awesome people, and then we have some really dodgy cars and dodgy people. And in a nutshell, that's what Kabulcha is. A mishmash of people put together. Now, I don't know what I am. Maybe middle class or thereabouts. Probably just under. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, think, I, think, I think it's great to live here. Just because it keeps you in your, keeps you, you know, keeps you grounded, I think you could say. Kabulcha keeps you grounded. You see the good and you see the not so good. Uh, once you move into different places that are, you know, high socioeconomic levels, you're going to be shielded from a lot of the 
you know, unpleasantries of some people, so. ZX14. So we're moving to a place called Burpengary, which is basically one step up. It's, it's, it's a little bit more expensive, which means it'll be at a slightly higher socioeconomic level, and we're gonna be a bit more shielded. I think that's sad, I really do. Quick update on my leg. Uh, I'm uh, basically not using a moon boot anymore unless we're going for a big trip. It's still swollen. It still goes up and down, up and down through the day. Uh, that's my ankle. My shoulder is, uh, my, my clavicle here is improving, but it's still sore. I still, uh, like I can move it and stuff. Range is gonna be good. That's, that's a really, that's a bonus. I'm gonna still have full range, but I will have a bump. My other shoulder has a bump, and that's super annoying. I don't know when that's going to go down. It's still there, and my right heel is not really getting any better. It's kind of plateaued. Hasn't improved for a while. But look, I can drive again. I can work the gear stick. I can, you know, like I'm okay. Just operating around. I don't know, 70%? Yeah, around 70%. I'm also putting on a bit of weight, which is a bit shitty. Uh, I'm also putting on a bit of weight, which sucks, but that's just how it is at the moment. I did read that you're supposed to put a lot of energy into your body when you're healing, uh, so there's no reason why I shouldn't do that. snack stop I have my vices and one of them is grilled chicken from Hungry Jack's yum next stop is the pawn shop called cash converters we're gonna convert some stuff into cash one of the things that I'm pawning off today is a open face helmet because after my motorcycle crash that I just had the like it dawned on me how important it is because you can just see it a visor was fully scratched and if I didn't have a visor helmet if I just had my open face helmet my face would be mangled I've used it like maybe a handful of times um, so yeah uh, it's going and I also have a spare computer screen it's fine but it's not the sharpest thing around I think I've, I've paid a hundred bucks brand new so you know if I can get ten bucks for it I'm gonna be but yeah that's fine the reason I'm doing this, apart from the cash, is I am decluttering my house. Yeah, a lot of, lot of clutter, a lot of clutter. Like, I have clutter coming out of my clutter. There's just clutter, clutter, clutter. Just stopped also here at Meat City. Uh, or uh, what's it called? Dixon Road Markets or something. I can, look, it's, it is what it is. It's cheap meat. Is it the best meat? No, it's okay. It's not too bad. I love it. The reason I stopped is my beautiful wife announced to me yesterday she doesn't like sausage. Now, I don't know about you, but that's grounds for divorce almost. On my way home, my busy morning slash middle of the day is coming to an end. 